can we get a facelift for $49? Well, today we're going to find out because we're going to be using Peter Thomas Raw Instant Fun Mix Temporary Face Tightener. What's the targets of this treatment from Peter Thomas Raw? So it's instantly going to firm, lift, smooth, and tighten the face. How long does it take? It takes three to seven minutes. Not bad for a facelift, right? So the targets of this treatment is going to eradicate the, hopefully, the forehead lines, crow's feet, the 11s, aka frown lines, also the nasolabial folds, and if you have enlarged pores like me, on my cheeks and my forehead, it's going to tighten the pores. So how can this manage to do that in three to seven minutes? So let's talk about the formula quickly because it's important to know what you're putting on your skin. Similar to the instant eye tightener, which I did a video on last week, it has similar ingredients, but let's quickly go through them. Key ingredients, once again, we have Firmatite, which is a trademark formula. Now that has three tightening silicates, which are sodium silicate, sodium magnesium fluorosilicate, and we have magnesium aluminium silicate, and we also have seaweed extract. Silicates are found in natural clays, so think about when you put a facial clay mask on, how it feels when it dries, your skin feels really tight and firm. So these silicates give that instant firming and tightening effect. We also have vitamin C and vitamin E, which are natural antioxidants. Vitamin C in the form of ascorbic acid, which boosts collagen. Vitamin E is to nourish your skin and also hydrate the skin. Then we also have pro-vitamin B5, which moisturizes and softens the skin. Finally, the other key ingredients are comfrey extract, which reduces the appearance of wrinkles. And we also have fennel extract, which was also found in the eye tightener. Fennel seed extract has anti-aging and rejuvenating properties. In this video today, I'm going to give you a 101. Now that we went through the formula, what, I'm going to, what you're going to see in this video today is we're going to do two different tests. I'm going to do a 10 hour wear test underneath makeup. And I'm also going to do, on, so I'm doing this video over two days because on a separate day, I'm going to try it out as the other suggested method, which is for an hour, you would put on a more generous amount, just like you would a face mask and try it out as a firming facial mask. So let's get into the video. A quick intro about me before we get started today. My name is Anne Britt. I'm a holistic and beauty therapist. I have been in the skincare and beauty industry for 30 years. So if you would like skincare advice from somebody who is certified, and as I say in America, I license, then make sure to like and subscribe. So without further ado, let's get into this video today and let's get into the nitty gritty and see if this works or not. And welcome to day one, test one of Peter Thomas Roth Instant Fun Mix Face Tightener. We're going to eradicate these wrinkles. So what we're going to do with this test run is we're going to leave this mask on. We're going to use it as a firming facial mask, apply a generous amount and leave it on for an hour. And maybe I'll look like I should be in Madame Tussauds. Tussauds soon, if that's how you say it. So first of all, I'm going to use the, <clears throat> even though this takes off, um, sorry, even though this targets crow's feet, um, I am going to use the eye tightener around my eyes because my eyes are very sensitive. I feel this is way too strong for under the eyes. I'm just being totally honest with you. This one is ophthalmologist tested. If you have not seen my video um, on the eye tightener. So I am going to apply this first because this is going to eradicate them wrinkles anyway. But to be on the safe side, because my eyes are extremely sensitive, I have dry eyes, so I have to be very careful what I use. This is why I put this around my eye area. So just the same as I showed last week, upward direction, upward stroke, sorry. And make sure before you use any of these products that your face is clean, dry, freshly cleansed, and you're using a cleanser that's got no oils in it, okay? So let's just whack this on. I'm going to use the other one on my 11s today. I'm going to apply this in a generous amount and we're going to go back to 1990, hopefully, when I was 20 years old. So I'm going to show you how much I'm going to use here. Now remember, I shouldn't be laughing right now because you're meant to remain expressionless. Up here, don't squint, um, don't frown, don't smile. Yes, yeah, just resting bitch face. Um, sorry, but that's the truth. So I'm going to take quite a big amount here, just the same as you would be using in a regular face mask, okay? Now this 
is going to target the 11s, four headlines, get rid of these big open pores that I have, the nasal labial folds, and well, lots of crow's feet as well. But anyway, I'm going to apply just as I would a face mask on my neck. Okay, so I can't talk now. Five minutes has been on. The nasal labial folds eradicated. High wrinkles didn't really have much crow's feet to begin with, but wrinkles, dark circles, gone. Elevens, gone. Forehead wrinkle is still working on it. Pores getting tighter by the minutes. Now I meant to say, in case you never seen the one about the eye tightener video last week, what does this do? This eradicates everything that's a problem under the eye. So <clears throat> it reduces any fluid retention because of the decongestant properties in it. You can see the video from last week, it's in much more detail. But the eye one takes away wrinkles, fine lines, crow's feet, dark circles, eye bags, puffiness, everything under the eye area. And I can safely say that I have extremely sensitive eyes because I do have dry eye condition. I have to use eye drops every day for that since menopause. It's just one of the side effects. So I can definitely say that if you have sensitive eyes, this is fine because it's ophthalmologist tested. Anyway, I'm going to show you again as this is progressing. So this was after five minutes. You see the huge difference, right? Okay, guys, now it's been on 10 minutes. I'm getting younger looking by the minute. Jesus, I'm reverse aging here. So this has been on 10 minutes. Now, I also meant to say, because this has <clears throat> natural clays, your skin is also going to feel really deep cleansed, not just firmed, lifted, tightened, reducing all them wrinkles, tightening the horrible enlarged pores. It's also going to be extremely deep cleansed because of the clays that are in here. So that's the 10 minute check in. Look at this. This is the 20 minute check-in. So, as you can see, yeah, there's a little bit white residue here, but no big deal, and on here, but we're using that as a mask, and it's a generous amount, so not too bad. But 20 minutes in, I'm back to the year 2000, where I was 30. Let's see if we can go back to 1990, when I was 20 years old. Who knows? Guys, so, I'm trying to talk here, it's amazing how powerful this is, this product. Oh my god. 40 minutes now, and I feel like I'm in Madame Tussauds wax medium. So, as you can see, 40 minutes in, as the time progresses, just look at these nasal labial folds. They're non existent, and it's coming, it's like plumping up by the minute. I even feel like my little jowls, my wee jowls are gone, my facial jowls. This is just like, whoo! This product is amazing guys, used correctly. Now, I filmed this in two parts, right? So over a couple of days, using it with makeup, it's a thin, you know, target treatment, and this way, but I much prefer this way. Here's your final look <laughs> at 1990. I have went back in time, okay? So look at my forehead, it's like I've just had a dose of Botox. But don't get me wrong, I only had a couple of lines here but that annoying forehead wrinkle is gone my pores and trust me my pores are very enlarged in my forehead and here because i live in a humid climate and i always had oily skin until the past two years it's been down to combination as i said before but the pores are like tiny now on the cheeks eradicated here just to look how much that's plumped up and even my wee jowls are gone so extreme facelift guys Unbelievable. Let me give you a close-up. Crazy. So now I'm going to go and rinse off. Stay tuned because I'm going to show you, I showed you instantly how to take them wrinkles away. 
but now I'm going to show you once a rinse this or a permanent solution. It's very important with this that you're going to hydrate well after you use this as a mask. My red face. Now, this is nothing to be alarmed about because remember, you've also had a deep cleanse because of the clays. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because I've experimented and made sure I'm giving you the guys the right information that I have used this a couple of times you know, as a mask, so it's nothing to be alarmed about because remember, your skin's just been extremely stimulated. It's been lifted and firm to high heaven. And so now I'm going to show you a permanent solution, which takes longer. What I'm going to show you, I actually have a video on this more in depth, a full review, but this is Rock Fill, Derm Correction Fill and Treat Serum. Now, this has been formulated by dermatologists and plastic surgeons. So let me talk about this while I apply. Formulated to fight then stubborn areas that we've just been addressing. So this is for forehead wrinkles, cross feet, nasal labial folds and the marionette lines and the 11s, the frown lines. So let me talk about this while I apply. So I do not do a pump for each time. I just carry it over to the next area. But I have been using this, oh wow, well, for about... I don't know, three months now. And this is amazing. Now, what this has in it is hyaluronic acid to instantly moisturise, plump up their wrinkles. But also, did you know that hyaluronic acid, when it is triple hyaluronic acid, meaning the molecules are smaller, it can actually reach down further into the skin. That's what you should look for with your hyaluronic acid. But also stimulate collagen production, which we need, especially mature skin because the collagen levels decrease rapidly. So you just apply this, and what it contains also is retinol, boost that cell turnover for collagen production, eradicate them fine lines and wrinkles. And we also have a special ingredient called spertamarin. Now this has been clinically proven to reach deep down into the layers of the skin. As we age, the epidermal layers become, the epidermal layer becomes thinner. So what this spertamarin does, this Ayurvedic plant, is, as I say, it's been proven to thicken the epidermal layers. So this product here is amazing, guys. It's extremely comfortable on the skin. It's not uncomfortable in any shape or form. And it also has shea butter, which is an antioxidant, my favourite ingredient, and it's extremely hydrating. So for a retinol product, this is amazing. But you can go see my review on this. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you, because remember, we have to hydrate to the extreme when we've used this, now, the three key ingredients I just spoke about with the Rock Fill and Treat Serum is also in the Rock Contour Cream. Now, this is for the face and neck. It has the hyaluronic acid, the retinol, and the spertamarin, the Ayurvedic plant. So, this is to firm the face and neck with your, and help with your necklines. Now, I've had great results with this. Um, I've been using this every night. So, with this, it's more of a watery texture, so it doesn't matter so much about the the dots you know as you do with retinol but I really need to get some extreme hydration in here because we've stimulated the skin so much so I also have a review on this product that you can go to see but this is extremely hydrating also for a retinol product and even if you have sensitive skin You'll have no worries. So make sure you go check out my videos on Rock Contour Cream and Rock Fill and Treat Serum. The real Botox in a bottle. So, amazing results as you can see after an hour. And that's now we will move on to day two, where we're going to use this as a spot treatment and test it under makeup. And by the way, we're doing a 10 hour test. So let's get to it. Day two of testing out this Peter Thomas Roth Instant Fur Mix Temporary Face Tightener. So let's get to work and erase these wrinkles. But what we're going to do today, which is a bit different from other videos you've maybe seen, is I'm going to apply the Instant Fur Mix Eye Tightener around my eye area. Then I am going to apply this in specific areas because for me, I think it's a bit, it feels just too much on the skin if it's all over. So we're going to try this out. So just the same as a video last week, 
make sure you shape the product well. And first of all, we're going to apply the eye one. And we're going to use pea drop amount, same as last week, with the makeup brush because that actually is the best way to apply this product because as you know, you have to play around with it. So remember, expressionless. So let me smile now. And let's the magic begin. So upward strokes. Just under the brow. Not on the lower eyelid. And just above the brows. Next, the face. So let's erase these large enlarged open pores here. As you can see, I live in a very humid climate, but I used, but I also had very oily skin when I was younger. Past couple of years, I would say it's combination skin now. Okay, so you know. Oh, and so you know, I'm 52. So yes, I want to erase these nasal labial folds. The forehead wrinkles, the pores here, I'm going to put it on the spot areas and the enlarged pores. And let's see how this is going to work today. That might be a bit too much, but I won't, you know, let's just see how it goes. Same again, I'm going to put it on. As you can see, I'm plumped up here. Jeez, I look the way I did 10, 15 years ago. My pores have tightened up here because I do have a large, enlarged pores on my cheeks and on my forehead. My forehead, they're really tightened up. This forehead line ain't going. Let's see if we can put a bit more on and erase that line there. But you can really feel your skin plumping up and it feels really lifted and firmer, much firmer. Let's see if we can eradicate this line here, because this line really annoys me. Now I don't have any white residue. Let's see well that's firming up because my forehead's not moving when I'm talking. <laughs> but if you have any white residue, just the same as what I showed you before, just go around the outer edge with a Q-tip dampened with water or what you can do is, especially with this one, is if you feel you've overdone it, just get a face cloth, dampen it with water and take off the excess. So the same issue with this is, okay, great, it's getting better with the forehead line, but the same issue with this is, because of the texture, similar in skincare, right? I would say this is, how is the best way to explain it? It's like a powdery texture. So. Powder works with powder, you get me? You cannot put liquid foundation on top of this. Um, I have tried. You can, in a way it defeats the purpose a little bit because you can't put on your skincare either because liquid on top of powder, um, yeah, liquid on top of powder, meaning face serums, uh, moisturizers, it's just gonna make it break down and go all crackly and weird. So my best suggestion is I'm gonna do the same as last week. I'm gonna use Guerlain powder foundation. I'm going to tap it on where this product is applied, okay? And then I'm going to smooth over. So let me just quickly show you. And then I will go and I'll apply the rest of my makeup and do a check-in. Now, what I am going to do, I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to... My forehead is not looking right. <laughs> I'm going to dampen this, take this excess off here, and then, you know, fix the rest of my face, and then I'll come back with a check-in later, okay? Hi, guys. First check-in. So 
the little forehead one yeah reappeared i'm out here on the golf course it's a bit windy but this has been on oh what three and a half hours now so this nasio labial fold has came back this one is still good my pores are definitely much less noticeable um, on my cheeks and on my forehead uh, because I do have very enlarged pores. And under my eyes is looking good. Um, yeah, here is okay. I don't know, maybe I messed up with my application here, but so far, so good. Um, the only thing that I did off camera when I left you guys before was I took off the residue on my forehead. Hi guys, so it's 7 p.m. This is my second check-in, so this has been on for eight hours now, okay? So, I would definitely say that the first check-in was not the most complimentary because today has been extremely cloudy, really overcast. I was really wanting to show you guys, like in the eye timer, in bright sunlight. But now I'm showing you the next best thing because I'm directly underneath my kitchen light, which is just like bright sunlight. Now, as you can see, it's much more complimentary and... It's doing pretty well actually, to be honest with you. Um, as I say, just one of my nasolabial folds, but I'm really pleased with the pores and everything else under the eyes, etc. I think it's all about what you apply on top to, meaning your makeup, like as long as you use a powder foundation and use one that's good for mature skin. So now let's get on with the review and the rest of the video. Let's talk about the texture of this Peter Thomas Roth temporary instant firm mixed face tightener it's really important when you use this always shake it well but let me show you close up the texture so similar to the eye one it's like I would say a gel texture but with this one you'll find little it feels a little grainy so that's why it's important to really mix it well shake it well before you use it but I would say that's the difference between this one and the eye one Let's talk about the price and packaging of this amazing firming facial treatment. So this comes in a 100ml size, which is 3.4 fluid ounce, and it's $49. So here's a close-up of my mug shot. Now this has been on now for 10 hours because I am recording at 9pm. So as you can see, it's still wearing okay, but now I'm going to give you my review. Let's get into the review of Peter Thomas Roth Temporary Instant Firm X Face Tightener. That's a mouthful, right? So, does this work? Yes, it works, as you can see with the video. I took you right through my day, and 10 hours later, it's still wearing well. When it comes down to the nitty gritty, is this worth $49? Okay, I found it, you do have to play with it, don't get me wrong, because it's not an easy product <laughs> to work with, especially when you're gonna put makeup on top the pros and cons with this now it's the same as for me personally I have tried it's the same as the I one you're very limited you cannot um, they're both fantastic products in my opinion but here is the negative part you can't put water-based makeup on on top more importantly because skincare is number one for me you cannot use your skincare ideally on top because it just doesn't like liquid texture. So that's number one. Number two, you're limited. You can only really wear, in my opinion, powder foundation. You can't wear concealer, you can't wear liquid foundation. It just does not like them textures. Final thoughts and review on this Peter Thomas Roth. Is it worth $49? I actually loved the effects of it. It definitely lifted and firmed my skin beyond belief. Like. I felt like I was Joan Rivers on my 10th facelift. <laughs> God rest her soul, I love that woman, but you know what I'm saying. My face felt like, whoa, really pulled tight. Now, I found it more beneficial to put it on as a face mask with a generous amount. You would have to hydrate your skin like crazy because remember, it has natural clays in here which can be drying on the skin. So for this, I would be very careful if you had dry skin about using this, that's number one. I have combination skin. My skin used to be always extremely oily until I went through menopause. So for me, my skin can handle this, right? But make sure you moisturize like crazy after you've used it as a mask. Now, my review of it to wear it as a spot treatment like I did, um, you know, for during the day for makeup, 
for me, I really miss my skincare because these textures do not like skincare. Even online, it says on the site on Peter Thomas Raw, like really don't wear serums, um, moisturizers, etc. When you're using these, so you're limited to powder formula because this is a powder texture, so it accepts it accepts powder formula on top. So this is why the best solution for me was powder foundation. So I would say the pros and cons. Yes, I enjoyed it. It's, um, I'm glad I bought it. Yes, it made a huge difference. However, it's not something that I would use every day because I would feel extremely limited. I couldn't wear my skincare. I could only wear powder foundation. You know, these days I like to put on BB cream and then a loose powder on top and concealer under my eyes because, you know, I have slightly dark shadows under here. So, <clears throat> I would say for a special event, what I would do, my recommendation would be, yes, to wear it as a firming facial mask in a more generous amount and, you know, take it off, then apply your skincare and then you can apply your normal water-based makeup, you know, and you'll still have them firming effects for a few hours. That is the way I think would be best. So for this, I would say more so for a special occasion, it's not something that I would want to wear every day because as I say, I'm limited, I couldn't wear my skincare, etc, etc. If you want to see more in depth about the eye tightener, to check my video that I did last week on this, I absolutely love this product, but, and you know, I think I would use this more, um, even though I love my eye creams, it's not something again I would use every day, but I think I would use this slightly more than this one. This one I would use more so as a firming facial mask for an hour, rinse off, put on my skincare and it would be great. Your skin would look fantastic if you were going to an event that evening. And until next time I'm going to say adios over and out and thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!